Have you ever wondered how our planet came to be the diverse and vibrant world it is today? It's a question that has sparked curiosity for centuries, leading us on a journey of exploration and discovery. Earth, our home, is a dynamic entity within the vast cosmos, constantly evolving and reshaping itself over billions of years. Our quest is to journey back in time, peeling back the layers of history to reveal the tumultuous transformations that our world has undergone. From a fiery ball of molten rock, through the arrival of the first signs of life, to the thriving, diverse ecosystem we inhabit today, the Earth's story is a tale of resilience and change. We'll traverse the epics, exploring the geological and biological milestones that have shaped our planet and speculate about what the future may hold. So buckle up for a thrilling ride through time and space. Embark on this journey through time as we unravel the story of our planet from its fiery birth to the birth of complex life. Imagine a time when Earth was a glowing ball of molten rock, a lifeless entity in the vast cosmos. In the early stages of its formation, approximately four and a half billion years ago, our planet was an inferno of molten rock. It was a world unlike the one we know today, with an atmosphere filled with thick clouds of gas and a surface that was a sea of liquid rock constantly churning and shifting. This was the Hadean Eon named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld. It was a time of extreme heat and violent geological activity. The Earth's surface was continually reshaped by volcanic eruptions and impacts from celestial bodies, the remnants of our solar system's formation. One such impact is believed to have been particularly significant. A celestial body, roughly the size of Mars, is thought to have collided with the early Earth. This cataclysmic event known as the Theia impact had profound consequences. The debris from this collision eventually coalesced and formed our moon, forever linking the destinies of these two celestial bodies. Meanwhile, beneath the fiery surface, the Earth was slowly cooling, and the heavier elements began to sink towards the core. This process, known as differentiation, led to the formation of Earth's layered structure, with a dense iron core, a mantle of silicate rock, and a thin outer crust. As Earth continued to cool, water began to accumulate on its surface. This water likely arrived via comets, icy messengers from the outer reaches of the solar system, and was also released through volcanic outgassing. Over time, these processes led to the formation of Earth's oceans, a crucial ingredient for the recipe of life. From this fiery chaos, the stage was set for the greatest show in the universe, the arrival of life. Fast forward to two and a half billion years ago, Earth enters an era known as the Pale Orange Dot. The surface of our planet was a canvas of muted oranges and hazy browns, with the first glimmers of life starting to paint their own colorful strokes. This was a time when the first photosynthesizing organisms, simple single-celled creatures, started to emerge in the vast oceans. These microscopic life forms known as cyanobacteria were the unsung heroes of Earth's evolution. They were humble in their appearance but mighty in their impact. Cyanobacteria had a unique talent, they could take sunlight and use it to convert water and carbon dioxide into glucose, a form of sugar. But this process, known as photosynthesis, also produced a byproduct, oxygen. At first this oxygen was absorbed by the surrounding ocean and the iron-rich rocks on the sea floor, but eventually the seas and rocks could hold no more. And so the oxygen began to escape into the atmosphere, marking the start of an event we now call the Great Oxidation. This was a turning point, not just for our planet, but for life as we know it. The atmosphere began to change, shifting from a blend of methane and carbon dioxide to a mix of nitrogen and oxygen. This didn't happen overnight, of course, it took hundreds of millions of years. But the effects were profound. The increased oxygen levels in the atmosphere created a protective ozone layer shielding the planet from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. This paved the way for life to venture out of the oceans and onto land, setting the stage for the development of complex multicellular organisms. As these tiny organisms filled the atmosphere with oxygen, a new chapter in Earth's story began. The pale orange dot was transforming and in its wake it left a planet poised for a dramatic explosion of life. This was the dawn of a new era, one that would lead to the diverse and bustling world we know today. Imagine a world completely covered in ice. Welcome to Snowball Earth. Around 650 million years ago, our planet entered one of the most severe ice ages in its history, an era known as Snowball Earth. The ice-covered oceans and snow-blanketed landscapes stretched from pole to pole, turning the planet into a frozen wasteland. 
the temperatures plummeted, and the earth was encased in ice a stark contrast to the molten world it once was. Life, as we know it, would seem impossible in such extreme conditions. However, nature has a knack for resilience, and even in this harsh, icy environment life persevered and adapted. Microscopic organisms, the tenacious pioneers of life, clung to existence in the ocean's depths, where the sun's rays could not penetrate. These tiny life forms had to be creative to survive. They evolved to become more efficient, learning to extract energy from the chemicals in the water around them, a process known as chemosynthesis. Other organisms developed the ability to form spore-like states, effectively putting themselves into a deep sleep until conditions improved. But how did life escape this icy prison? The answer lies in the very ice that imprisoned it. Volcanoes, those fiery mountains, continued to erupt beneath the ice, pumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Over millions of years, this greenhouse gas accumulated, trapping heat and warming the planet's surface. The ice slowly began to melt, and life was given a second chance. As the oceans warmed, those dormant organisms awakened from their slumber, ready to re-enter a world dramatically different from the one they left behind. Life was poised on the brink of an explosion of diversity and complexity. So, in the face of adversity, life not only survived but thrived, demonstrating an incredible resilience and adaptability. The Snowball Earth was a testament to the tenacity of life, a testament to the fact that life, once sparked, is incredibly hard to extinguish. Despite the frozen desolation, life found a way. Our planet was on the brink of another dramatic transformation. As the ice receded, Earth entered a period known as the Devonian, a time of incredible diversification of life. The Devonian, often referred to as the Age of Fish, was a time when our oceans teemed with an astonishing variety of marine life. It was a period of extreme evolution where the first vertebrates began to emerge. Creatures with jaws and teeth evolved, paving the way for a new era of predation. The seas were filled with strange and fascinating life forms, from the armored, shell-crushing Dunkleosteus to the five-eyed Opabinia and the peculiar spiral-shelled Ammonites. But the Devonian wasn't just about the flourishing of life in the seas, it was also an era of firsts for life on land. The Devonian witnessed an invasion of sorts where life began its very first steps onto terra firma. Plants were the pioneers in this grand adventure. From simple moss-like structures, they evolved into complex organisms developing roots and vascular tissues to transport water and nutrients. This allowed them to grow taller and spread further transforming the barren land into lush, green landscapes. These early forests created a new habitat, one that was ripe for colonization. This green invasion was followed by the arrival of the first land-dwelling arthropods, creatures like millipedes and early relatives of spiders and insects. The stage was set for a new chapter in the story of life. The Devonian was a time of experimentation, of trial and error. Life was exploring new niches, evolving and diversifying in ways that had never been seen before. The changes that took place during this period laid the groundwork for the ecosystems we recognize today. As the Devonian period drew to a close, the Earth was a very different place. What had once been a planet dominated by the sea was now a world where life had taken root on land. The Devonian had seen life's boundaries pushed and extended. Its possibilities expanded beyond the confines of the ocean. From the depths of the oceans to the heart of the continents, life had claimed Earth. As we look back at our planet's extraordinary journey, we stand in awe of life's resilience. From a fiery, lifeless sphere, Earth has evolved into a vibrant, living planet teeming with complexity and diversity. Each era has been a testament to life's tenacity, its capacity to adapt and thrive amidst the most extreme conditions. Renowned scientist Carl Sagan once said, The nitrogen in our DNA, the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, the carbon in our apple pies, were made in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of star stuff. This cosmic perspective underscores the interconnectedness of life and the universe, reminding us that we are part of a much larger, ever-evolving story. As we contemplate the future of our planet and humanity, we're driven by curiosity, hope, and an unwavering commitment to understanding our origins. What will be the next chapter in Earth's story? Only time will tell. Until then, let's keep exploring, keep questioning, and above all, keep marveling at the wonders of our extraordinary home.